Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. This is a video I did last year that was very popular, probably in particular because we had the new chemistry system on last year's game. Um, I still think though there's probably a lot of new players this year, maybe didn't play last year, or some people who might need a bit of a top-up reminder about the chemistry system. And I just want to also just stress how important chemistry is on Ultimate Team. At the end of the game, it's not as important. One of the big changes they made was that chemistry now even if you have zero you don't lose any stats you used to lose a lot of stats if you had less than five chemistry on the old system on this game if you um, don't have full chemistry you just not get as much stats but the start of the game where players are nowhere near end game have nowhere near end game stats chemistry is huge and really going to improve your team so if you're not fully sure about chemistry and how important it is please 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 concentrate on this video it is going to help you a lot and really will make a big difference. So, you can see for each player, at the bottom left of their card, they've got the little three diamonds, I think it is. These diamonds are what chemistry they've got. If a player has um, three blue, that means they've got full chem. If a player's got two, two chem, one, one chem, all grey, it means they've got zero chem. You can also see at the top left, under squad action, says total chemistry. If it's 33, this means every player on your team's got full chem. I don't think team chemistry matters too much anymore in the sense of it's just about individuals. Um, if you had 16 chem but five players on three, they'll still get the full boost as far as I'm aware. The ways to get chemistry, three different ways. One, their league. So Anthony Gordon would be Premier League. You can see that in the middle. On the left, their nation. And on the right, their club. To get full chemistry... You need to get three diamonds, of course, and there's a multiple way of getting them. For Premier League, are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God Squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Or for a league, you need three players from that league to get one diamond. So if I only had two Premier League players, I would only get zero. I'd get zero chem from that league. If you have three, then you're getting one diamond. If you have five players from the same league, you get two diamonds. And if you have three players from the same league, you get um, f no, sorry, eight players from the same league. You get the full three diamonds. So it's pretty useful for that. With the club. You need one player from the same club to get... Um, no, I'm saying it wrong. You need two players from the same club to get one diamond. So if you have two players from the same club and nothing else, they're already going to get one diamond. And you're only one off getting the league bonus as well because you've already got two players from that same league. Well, I say that, there is differences. So like Guadaro and Yamal are technically different leagues. One's La Liga female, one's La Liga um, them. But the female and men's teams do get the same chem in terms of the club so two players from the same club gets one diamond four players from the same club gets two diamonds and seven players from the same club gets um what you call it three diamonds however if you have four players from the same club unless it's the female male difference they're going to get the league chemistry anyway so you'd get full and then for the nation it's two players from the same nation are going to get one diamond Two, uh, five players from the same nation get two diamonds. And I can't remember if it's seven or eight players, but I think it might be eight. That you get eight players from the same nation, you get full diamonds. So that is the combinations in which you can get chemistry. If we look at Tonali, he's got one chemistry diamond coming from Newcastle. He's got, then the other two are coming from the Premier League. If you look at Emi Martinez, he's got one from Argentina. That's my manager. And then he's got... Um, the rest from the Premier League. So I have four, five, six, seven Premier League players and then a Premier League manager. So I'm getting full Premier League free diamonds just from my team. So I could have players from all different clubs and all different nationalities in the Premier and they'd all get full chem just from the league they're in. Uh, Rolfo, if we look at her, she's getting two of the diamonds from the uh, Barcelona. So Pajor, Gudaro and Yamal. And then the other diamond she's getting from La Liga F. So you can see my players get different bonuses from each other. Manager is important. This can get you an extra um, bit towards one of your diamonds. 
you can get nation so you could get one player if you had a player who had no nation links you can get a diamond instantly from that and the league can just top up the others um so why is chemistry so important we've talked about how you actually get it on players we've talked about what it does but why is it that big a deal let's look at some of our players so trent for example you can see the stat boosts get so from chemistry if you have full chem a chem style can give you 16 24 28 32 40 52 stats 52 attributes is quite a lot that is roughly i think let me think off the top of my head i think it's a, few, a couple of percent of the stats but the thing that's so big about it is it can massively boost areas that weaken 75 pace on trends quite slow 83 pace stats sound a lot better and you can boost it in different areas in different ways that you want. If we look at um, on the transfer market, you can look for... Why is it making me look for players? Because I was on, on managers even. If you look at the chemistry styles, we've got all these different ones. Basic just is what they start on, and they get a boost across a few areas. Sniper, I think, is shooting and physical. I don't think that tends to be that good. Finishes shooting and dribbling i think that one's really good dead eyes really good shooting and passing gives a lot of shot power boost if you go on a website like footwiz foot gg footbid you can look at a player and look at them with what the chem styles look like and it can show you exactly what the boost will be there's a lot of players who look good but they have a big weakness chem styles are a way of fixing these can make a huge difference hawk is a mix of pace, physical, and shooting. All of these chem styles that will give the same amount of stat boost overall. Artist is passing and dribbling. Architects, physical and passing. Engines, pace, passing and dribbling. Maestro, shooting and dribbling. Powerhouse, shooting and defending, I want to say. Sentinel is physical and defending. You won't use that for a while because you want pace on your players. Pace is probably the one most people will use at the moment. Guardian, I think, is defending and dribbling. Gladiator, I can't remember, but it's not one I ever use. Backbone, physical, uh, defending and passing. Anchor's a pretty good one. Pace, d d defending and physical. Hunter, probably the most popular. Pace and shooting. It gives 8 pace and gives 8 finishing. It used to give 10 pace and 15 finishing, so they did nerf chem styles a bit. Catalyst is pace and passing. Shadow is defending and pace. And the keeper ones, um, Glove and Cat tend to be the two best ones, generally speaking. But like I say, go on one of these websites, experiment with them, look at a player you like and see what they'll look like with the chem boost. But they make a big difference. You can see everyone in my team pretty much has a chem style. The only players who don't are Gordon, because I'm going to replace him. I don't think he's that good. And Van Dyke because he was on loan. And Martinez, I probably need to look into getting a keeper one on him. But they make a big difference. They'll improve your team massively. And... Um, like I said, at this point in the game where players have a lot of stats that need improving, chemistry styles are huge. Later on in the year, where players get 99s just off their cards in general, it won't be as big a deal. But for now, it's essential. Don't ignore it. It will make your team a lot better. And it can turn a team that's not that competitive into a very good, solid team. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, please keep it spicy. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.